This video is sponsored by Navicat Premium. What exactly is a database? How does a database differ from a data warehouse? How does a data mart relate to a data warehouse? And what on earth is a data lake? In this video, I'll answer all of these questions. Let's start off with the question, what exactly is a database? Well, in theory, a database is anything that stores data in an organized fashion. So in theory, an Excel file or text file could be considered a database. But in analytics and business intelligence, that's not what we mean when we use the term database. What we're usually actually referring to is a database containing data in a structured format in a Relational Database Management System, or RDBMS for short. So something like MySQL, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, etc. These databases are called relational because they're made up of different tables that are related to each other because they share common data. The relational model is used because it's a very efficient way of storing and retrieving data. Each table contains data in a rows and columns tabular format, hence the name. Each column contains a field of data, a metric or dimension, and each row contains a record of that data. So databases are everywhere in your day-to-day -day life, behind applications, wherever data is being captured and stored. Okay, so what is a data warehouse? Well, to make things confusing, a data warehouse is actually also a database. But it has different characteristics and purposes to a regular database. You see, a data warehouse is designed to be a centralized repository of data from lots of different sources. Whereas databases are built to collect data, a data warehouse's main purpose is to serve the analytics needs of an organization. It's built for better data retrieval, which makes data analysis faster and more efficient. Another important characteristic of data warehouses is that they contain copies of both current and historical data that have been extracted from various sources, usually via data pipelines and ETL processes. In business intelligence, having all of this data in one place enables users to blend it and analyze it together to get a better, more cohesive understanding of business performance. So that's data warehouses. Now let me tell you more about the sponsor of today's video, Navicat. So I've been a user of Navicat Premium for over 10 years now. It is by far and away my tool of choice for working with SQL databases. Navicat Premium is a database development and management tool that allows you to simultaneously connect to MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, Oracle, MariaDB, SQLite, Redis, and MongoDB databases from a single application. It's also compatible with cloud databases in places like AWS, Azure, GCP, and Oracle Cloud. It is an incredibly powerful, yet easy to use tool that can do everything from database development and modeling through to building out interactive reports and loads in between. Manage tables, views, functions, and more via a clean and intuitive UI. Browse, enter, and edit data seamlessly through Navicat's built-in editors. Import and export data from or to diverse sources. Accelerate your data model design by turning your databases into graphical representations. Use Navicat's local backup and restore solution to safeguard your data. Configure and save batch jobs to execute later, either manually or schedule them on a recurring basis. Navicat BI is also included as standard, allowing you to transform your data into stunning interactive dashboards and reports. With Navicat Collaboration, you can share your project with your team in a trusted and secure environment. Navicat Premium really is the complete database management solution. That's why more than 50% of the Fortune 500 companies use Navicat products every day. Head on over to navicat.com or click the link in the description to check out Navicat Premium and take it for a free test drive. So let's move on to data marts. How does a data mart relate to a data warehouse? 
Well, because a data warehouse can contain data related to all activities and areas of an organization, it can get pretty crowded and difficult to navigate for anyone wanting to locate and work with data that belongs to them, or at least that they've been authorized to work with. So to make things simpler, data marts are created. What they do is essentially ring fence certain data sources for certain people within the organization. This not only makes life easier, but it also ensures data security and allows for compliance with data governance rules and regulations. So for example, the marketing team will get access to a marketing data mart, sales to a sales data mart, and so on and so forth. And what this does is it avoids certain people from certain departments seeing sensitive data they shouldn't. One other benefit of data marts is that they ensure everyone is working with the same data. So one user isn't potentially analyzing data they shouldn't, making wrong calculations and getting erroneous results that then leads them to go on and make decisions based on those wrong results. By restricting data to that which has been pre-prepared and vetted, it gives organizations what is often referred to as a single source of truth. All right, the last of these data storage terms we're going to talk about is data lake. Like data warehouses, data lakes are centralized data repositories, but that's where the similarities end. Data lakes are built to contain large volumes of data of all different types in all different formats. Everything from regular structured data, like in data warehouses, to semi-structured data, like JSON and XML files, to unstructured data. Unstructured data is basically anything else, literally anything. Anything from video and audio files, to images and graphics, to text documents, raw log files, sensor data, social media feeds, the list is endless. In a business intelligence setting, it's quite rare that you will find yourself encountering data lakes. Okay, so that covers database, data warehouse, data mart, and data lake. I hope that has cleared things up for you. Thanks very much for watching, and thank you again to Navicat for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in becoming a business intelligence analyst, please do check out this video here. Thanks again, and see you soon for another video. Bye.